Hey guys, Shani back with another process video for my December scrap party where I am bringing you a video every day for the whole month of December. And today's video, it's going to be really, really simple layout. Um, I printed this eight and a half by 11 photo of my daughter and just left or not left um, off camera. I added a white uh, cardstock border just maybe an eighth of an inch all the way around and more than anything that was to give the photo itself a little bit more stability because it was kind of um floppy <laughs> so I've um then I went on my Cricut and I cut out each letter of her name in a different paper and they I believe they're six inches tall is what I did. The D somehow got a little tiny bit shorter than the other letters, but it's fine. It still works. And it kind of, it looks like it fits where her ear is. It kind of goes in because her ear goes out. I don't know. In my head it works. So I'm just going to go ahead and adhere down um, the photo really quickly. And then um, I'll rearrange the letters um, and make sure they'll fit across um, evenly and then um, adhere those down and just try to make sure those are spaced out. Um, the A, I was having trouble because I liked how the A overlapped but I didn't want to overlap the I so I was trying to make sure that they looked not weird. Um, so you'll see in a second, I pull the A over a little bit. Um, so I just used foam tape across the back of each letter. And this foam tape isn't very thick, um, like very deep. So it worked out perfectly. So now I'm just pulling out two different um, washi tapes rolls. Uh, this black and white one is from Freckled Fawn. And then that plaid one is... Um, from the Snowflake collection, I believe, from, uh, my brain is not working this morning, <laughs> from Crate Paper. Uh, and then the, this little label and the little Christmas trees are from a die cut pack from Felicity Jane, from some of those. If you saw my video on Sunday, um, there were some of the, or maybe... Monday, sorry. Uh, if yesterday, if you saw my video yesterday, <laughs> you saw all the stuff that I got over Black Friday. Um, so I just adhered that little tree down with some tape runner and then I stuck the label on with a little bit of foam tape so that it popped up just a little bit. And then I'm adding that other tiny tree at the top. I'll use glue because it was so tiny. I had a not the easiest time trying to get the adhesive onto the back of that little snowflake die cut. So I used liquid adhesive for the other little tiny tree. And so now um, I've pulled out these little tiny snowflake sequins from the dollar spot at Target. And then I'm just going to take those out and um, I just added glue do uh, dots of glue where I wanted them and then I'll stick those down and when the glue dries um, the snowflakes are mostly clear so you don't really see them but they give just a tiny bit of sparkle little um, when you look at it from like when you move your head or whatever um, it just gives a little tiny bit of sparkle and just a little extra detail so do the same thing up here at the top and then I'll do a few on the photo as well. I, I don't know why I just liked having them on the photo as, as well, especially because there's so much, um, like white space ish. I mean, I know there's stuff in the photo, but it's not all the subject. <laughs> there's a lot of non subject of the photo. Um, so I just done that. And then I pull out some more bits and pieces. Um, these are some more of the sparklets. And they're like one of my current favorite things right now. They, and this mix has green in it. So these, they look clear right now. Or when they dry, 
they're still a little bit clear, but they're like a light mint color. And so I added some more across there, across the bottom and the top. And then I'll also pull out, um, these are new, they're, they're wood veneers, but they, and you'll, you'll have seen those yesterday in the haul video if you watched it as well. Um, they look like little tiny sequins, like laser cut into the wood veneer. So I'll just add some of those around the page as well. And then that'll be it. Oh, and then, all right. Sorry. Um, no, I forgot about another part. Anyway, so I will sprinkle these. I go a little bit from bigger to large, from larger to smaller across the page. So like at the bottom, I'll do some bigger ones towards the bottom. And it, as I go out up, they go smaller and the same at the top, they're bigger on the left and go smaller towards the right. And then, um, I think the last thing I do is add the year with some little tile alphas and they are from studio calico they're like a matte gold finish and then that'll be it so thank you guys so much for watching today um be sure to hit that like button because that really helps pe youtube know that people like the video and want to see it and it promotes it more and then um leave a comment if you have any questions or anything i love to answer comments and have a wonderful day. Oh, and subscribe. Sorry. If you want to see more videos, subscribe because I'll have another video every day for the rest of December. Uh, so have a wonderful day. Happy scrapping. Bye.